Welcome to part 3 of my series on integration by parts using the DI technique uh, of integrating by parts. So in this part 3 we are going to look at cases where the original integral reappears and uh, this is actually very common when the integrand is a product of an exponential function and a trigonometric function as you can see in these two examples this is an exponential function uh, and this is a trig function so such cases usually give rise to integrals that reappear let's try to work this out using the di method so i'll just write this on the next page so the first one is the integral of exponent negative x sine x dx. Okay, so remember how we use the di method. We we'll begin by drawing a table. We have d on one side and i on the other side. Now previously the way we used the di method was such that we look for the function that is going to be differentiable up to zero and we write that in the d column but in this case the exponential function cannot be differentiated up to zero because every time you differentiate it will actually appear the same again the same happens to sine x it will just keep flipping to sine cos sine cos so none of those can actually qualify to to be here both of them are, can be differentiated and both of them can be integrated so we just have to make a choice arbitrarily so i'll put exponent negative x here okay and then on the integrate si uh, side i'll put sine x if we differentiate exponent negative x we'll get negative exponent negative x if we integrate sine x we get negative cosine of x let's proceed if we differentiate negative exponent negative x we get exponent negative x and if we integrate this we'll get negative sin x now this is very important pay close attention here all right i'll write the signs here plus minus plus as usual what is important here is that if you take a close look at what we are getting it is similar to what we had in the beginning our original integral so every time you see the original integral reappearing you stop at that point and uh, you carry out the following operation so let's do this now i'll go back to this in yellow the integral of exponent negative x sine x dx is uh, that should be dx sorry about that dx is going to be equal to so i multiply this with this and this with this that's exponent negative x uh, of course that's a positive that's a negative i should have a negative here cos x then we have negative and a negative that's really a positive but this makes it negative again so i have minus exponent negative x sine x and because this integral reappears at this point this is going to be minus the integral of exponent negative x sine x this minus here that's what we have here then exponent negative x sine x dx every time we multiply two functions that are in the same row then we've got to put back the integral sign because that means we were not able to proceed to the next steps all right so as you can see here i can now bring this integral to the right hand side and this integral is the same as this so if i bring it here i'll just have two integrals so twice the integral of exponent negative x 
sin x dx equals uh, what we have here negative exponent negative x well, that's times cosine x minus exponent negative x times sine of x and uh, as you can see now we just have one more step to conclude the integral of exponent negative x sine x just divide throughout by 2 so that's a half of negative exponent negative x cos x minus exponent negative x sine x plus a constant of integration and there we're good to go we could actually factorize out negative exponent negative x if that sounds fun to you let's actually do that so oops uh, i want to factorize this out so that becomes exponent negative exponent negative x over 2 so we have cos x plus sine x plus c and there we go that's a final solution so don't forget here it's very important if you're uh, using the di method and you see the original integral reappearing at any one row then you stop at that row and you multiply those two uh, that gives you the original function as it was so you just bring it back over to this side combine it with this using ordinary algebra then you're able to find that integral with ease all right let's look at the other problem we had oops i just have to go to the previous page okay exponent of 2 theta times cosine 3 theta d theta let's uh okay let's do this uh exponent 2 theta i'll write it here problem number three exponent 2 theta times cosine of 3 theta d theta again you see we have an exponential function and a trigonometric function so we suspect that the function will reappear let's draw the table for the di method so we have d here we have i here let me put the exponent negative uh, sorry the exponent 2 theta here and the cos 3 theta on the i side oops so for fun you can actually try to interchange this and see if it really has an effect i don't think it does but maybe yes maybe no all right so if we differentiate this we'll have two exponent two theta if i integrate this we'll have one third of sine three theta right if i differentiate this one more uh, uh once more so i'll have four exponent two theta here i'll have one over nine i guess that's negative because the integral of sine three to theta is negative one third so there we go you can see exponent two theta and negative uh sorry exponent two theta and cos three theta reappearing which is our original integral here so plus minus plus as usual then i write the integral of exponent 2 theta cosine of 3 theta d theta is equivalent to so cross uh, sorry multiply the adjacent uh, functions so we have exponent 2 theta times a third of cos that's not cos that's sine 3 theta right minus and minus that's going to be a plus uh, 2 over 9 guess that's it exponent 2 theta cos 3 theta then at this point where it reappears we only multiply with the same row so that's going to be minus 4 over 9 exponent 2 theta cos of 3 theta all right 
so I've got to move this over to this side and if I do that uh, I'll have 1 plus 4 over 9 well, this is just 9 over 9 so that's going to be <coughs> uh, 13 13 divided by 9 all right so I'll have 13 over 9 the integral of exponent 2 theta cos 3 theta d theta oh did I not put an integral here I should have done that because I'm multiplying uh, across the row uh, so I've got to put back the integral okay so this is equal to one third or exponent two theta divided by three sine three theta plus two exponent two theta over nine cos three theta and finally my final solution is I now multiply both sides by 9 over 13 so I've got here 9 over 13 and this is exponent 2 theta over 3 sine 3 theta plus 2 exponent 2 theta that's over 9 cos 3 theta uh, obviously plus a constant integration and uh, that's our final solution thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, hope to produce more content just leave me a comment below this video on what you would like me to make or anything you would want me to improve and i'll see you in my next video thanks